Hey there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to play the Sweden song from Minecraft. It's really nice, relaxed, chilled piece of music and it's pretty repetitious. I do believe this to be accurate, so I've left the sheet music that I have made that's available down below. So this one's in the key of B minor. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of B minor. So I'm mostly using those notes. Here is middle C for reference. So I'm gonna teach both hands together at the same time. Left hand will be blue and right hand will be orange. So again, here is middle C. And what we're gonna play first together is a low E and the right hand's gonna play E and G and it kind of, the song kind of fades in if you listen to it. So you play them together. And then we're gonna play just an F sharp in the left hand. And then we have A and D in the right hand with G in the left hand. And then B. Then with this A, you're gonna play F sharp and A in the right hand with whichever fingers you want. And then G. And then with this low D, you're gonna play A and C sharp. So do that again. And now I'm gonna play more full chords in the right hand. So the left hand is gonna do the exact same thing again. So this time the right hand is gonna play a root position of E minor, which is E, B and G. With that E, F sharp. And then we're gonna to come to this chord here. So this is a D major second inversion. So it's A, D, F sharp over G. And then B. And then we have a full F sharp minor chord over A. So it's F sharp, A, and C sharp, G, and then a full A major chord over D, which is A, C sharp, and E. I'll just do that again, so from the full E minor chord. Repeat that again. So I'm using my little finger in my left hand for the D and the E. And then from now on we're gonna add the sort of extra melodic notes in the right hand. So you're gonna play that E minor chord again. And then with this F sharp, the right hand's gonna play A, B, into the D over G chord. And then you're gonna play a quick D, E into the F sharp minor over A chord. And then a quick F sharp A into the A over D chord. So I'll just do that a little bit again. Pedal. If you're not sure how to use the sustain pedal and you do have one, I've done a whole video on it which I've linked below. So carrying on, again it always starts with this E minor until we get to the end. So we have E minor, and then we're going to come up and play D, and then we have F sharp and B together, then an A, into that D over G chord. B, and then that quick D, E, F sharp minor over A, A, and then a quick A F sharp into the D over A, A over D. <laughs> I 
I'll just do that all the bit again. So I'll just do what we've done so far from the very beginning. So carrying on to this next bit, so we have the E minor chord again. And then with this F sharp, we're gonna play A, B. We have some bigger hand stretches now. So I'll give you a couple of alternatives. If, if you can stretch this, the right hand is gonna play D, F sharp, and D. And the left hand is gonna play G and A. If you can't stretch that, just play F sharp and D and A in the right hand with just a G in the left hand. So like that. That's your alternative. I'm gonna play it the other way. Then you're gonna play this B. And then we have F sharp and D together. And then E and E together. And they're quick. And the next chord there, so we have A, F sharp, and A, and then octave Cs. But if you can't stretch that, just play A, F sharp with this with this higher C. So I do it from to start this new bit. sharpen D to a quick C sharp and then we have a full A major chord so with the octave on top so if you can't stretch with the octave on top just play C sharp E and A with D and then carrying on so we have the E minor chord again G, B, D, E, F sharp minor over A, G, F sharp A, A over D. So it's similar to what we've already done. And then carrying on again, E minor chord, F sharp and A, B, D over G, sharp minor over A, G, F sharp, A, A over D, E minor, F sharp and A, B, got this bit again, obviously you do your alternate, alternate version if you have smaller hands, B, but this time we're going to play this D and E, we have G and F sharp together and then a quick F sharp A A over D 
And that's the end of that section. There's one last little bit where the chords change a bit. So I'll just play everything that we've done so far. So the last part then, we have some different chords. So we have a B minor 7. So that's B, octave B is if you count in the left hand, but if not, just pick which B you want to play. In the right hand, you're effectively going to play D minor, so that's A, D and F sharp. And then we have a quick B, A, E major this time. So E is in the left hand, and then B, E, G sharp, so second inversion of E major, and then E, D, and then we have second inversion of A major, so it's A's in the left hand, in the right hand that's E, A, C sharp, and then D, E, then we have the strange chord, very dissonant. So it's G major, second inversion in the right hand, so it's D, G, and B over F sharp. So I'll do what we've done with this next bit so far. And then we play minus 7 again, so it's effectively a full D major chord in the right hand, but if you can't stretch that, just play, just leave out that D with B in the left hand. B, A, that E major chord again. And then we have an E, and then D and E. But if you can't stretch that, you'll have to borrow your left hand for the D and E. And then we have a full A major first inversion chord, so it's C sharp, E, A, C sharp. If you can't stretch the octaves, just miss out the bottom C sharp. And then we have a D, D and E, again use your left hand if you can't stretch it, an E, and then B minor over G. So that's G in the left hand and then B, D, F sharp and B. <laughs> I think he's actually playing a G, but then there's like a string or synth sound which is playing an F sharp. So I, I, 
I included that in there instead. So I'll just play that whole last section again then, and then I'll play it all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.